In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bomb the cover three invert coverage for a one play touchdown in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And I just want to uh, ask that you go ahead and click that subscribe button if this video does help you or answer your question. Now, if you have more Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is 812 Two one six three six four four, and that also allows me to shoot you our weekly text message membership pro tips that come out every single week. The last video we did was a big nickel over G breakdown of how to use big nickel over G to stop some of the best offenses in Madden 21, specifically um, this trips tied in. But anyways, I want to go and dive right in here. This play is Pat's Y in. In my opinion, this might be one of the best passing plays in Madden 21. And we're just going to go over how you can use this play to torch cover three invert. Now cover three invert has been giving a lot of people a lot of trouble um, over the last couple of weeks because of the fact that those deep half those deep half zones are very, very effective and they are very difficult to bomb over the top. But trips tied in because of the way the formation is designed and laid out, you don't have anybody on the right side of the field if you block your tight end. So um, we're gonna jump right in here. Pat's Y in. And you'll see with this, I don't even think that I have to make any adjustments. The one adjustment I would suggest is just blocking your running back because if blocking your running back is going to mean that you're going to get a little bit of extra time. But what you'll see on this, this is just the route combination right here. And as you can see, this is going to torch that cover three invert over the top for a one play touchdown. Now, if you do want to make some adjustments to it, um, one adjustment that you could uh, you could make, and let, let's just say they were playing like standard cover three. If they were playing just standard cover three where they didn't have the deep halves on the field, then what you could do is you could take your tight end, put him on a crossing route, take your left of screen inside guy, put him on a uh, slant, put Chris Godwin on a zig or a flat, and then take your running back and put him on a wheel route. That wheel route is going to be very, very effective for basically holding that deep third. As you can see, he's going to sit on the wheel and you're going to be able to bomb over the top. Now, right there, Devin McCourty made a brilliant play on the ball. Most of the time, that's not going to happen. Um, and especially, again, real quick, you want to make sure that you're on the right hash mark when you run this play. If you're on the left hash, left hash mark, just go ahead and flip the play, and um, that will be you know just fine for you. But you'll see here, cover three drop. By me putting that little slant wheel combination on that side of the field, it's going to open it up, and we're going to be able to bomb this post right over the top, as you can see. For whatever reason, you know, Mike Evans is not catching the ball uh, like he should be. Um, and part of that is because of his speed. He doesn't have a, he, you know, he's not exactly a speedster. Um, he's more of a possession guy. If I were to put like Scotty Miller in that position, you know, he would be able to torch it. But you'll see right here, pass lead this hard to the right. You want it hard to the right. And there you see, get that animation right there. And this is an absolute laser against the cover three drop. It's also a laser against cover three. Now I just want to show you how this works if you run that same route combination against the cover three defense. So if I were to, and, and this time I'll take Godwin and put him on a slant route. It doesn't really matter which one you put. Um, and what you'll see here is this route combination right here, snap of the ball, we step up in the pocket. And what you'll see is the same thing will happen. The deep half will basically, he gets a better chance at getting back if you run this this way. If you want to make sure that he has no chance of getting back, then what I recommend doing is putting, um, you know, doing something, you know, basic like this route combo right here, where you basically, you know, essentially are not going to have any routes ran on the right side of the field. By not having any routes ran on the right side of the field, the only route being ran is you're tied in on a post um, post route and you can run these little hitches underneath as check down reads what you're going to see is the deep half zone will not be able to uh, hang the deep half zone is going to have some trouble he's going to basically just kind of sit underneath and he's not going to get back on the ball because there's no in his mind there's really nobody to guard you're able to hit the post route over the top for an absolute laser okay so that's how you beat cover three and how you beat cover three invert in one play and this route combination will actually um, pretty much beat every coverage in the game. But I wanted to share with you specifically against the cover three invert because that's been a coverage that has been giving me 
um, a ton of problems over the course of the last couple of days. But the cool part is this also beats cover four drop, which is really, really good and really, really powerful. So trips tied in this post route, like I said, is the route that I think completes this formation. It's the route that really brings everything all together. So if you haven't checked out trips tied in yet, um, it's one of the best offenses in Madden 21. And we're right now writing um, a guide basically on the entire Patriots playbook. So we're going to cover um, more than just this formation, but this is one of the key formations that we will be covering in it. Um, so really excited to get that released to you. And um, we'll be re releasing a sample mini scheme from it in this week's text message membership tip. So if you text me, you can get access to that video. Um, it's probably off the top of my head. It's probably um, going to be a breakdown on the ACE formations. So the ACE slot offset and all that stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It might be the gun bunch. It might be the ACE. I'm just still trying to decide. I got to get in the lab and make sure I have everything dialed in for you before I release that. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to play some sample games. But I will tell you. Of all the games that I've played with this scheme, I've yet to lose. Um, I've yet to lose with this scheme. The offense actually has yet to be stopped uh, with this scheme, which is actually crazy. It's been one of the best offenses that I've ever experienced. So um, I'm just really, really excited to share this with you. Trips tight in is a formation that Peyton Manning used later on in his career with the Denver, Bron Denver Broncos and ran it to excellence. So I've been studying some game tape on him as I kind of get uh, prepared to release this. But anyways, guys, um, just really, really excited to share this with you. I hope this video helps you with some of the defensive uh, challenges that you might be facing. Um, there is a way to stop this this route combination, um, but um, it's very, very difficult to stop. It's one of the best route combinations in Madden 21, um, especially against zone coverage. Now, man coverage is going to do a little bit better of a job, but even man coverage is going to struggle with this, especially if you have a wide receiver that has over 90 deep route running. But anyways, guys, we got some more videos coming today. We'll be streaming tonight. We can, you can come check out the full scheme uh, and play it tonight on stream um, at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Be sure to check the uh, Discord for that. We'll notify everyone in the Discord whenever we go live. If you're not in Discord yet, it's a great way to connect um, with other Madden players. Um, throughout the week, throughout the day, when we're not streaming or we don't have any videos going live. So be sure to join the Discord. The link to that is in the description. And if you haven't picked up a coaching session yet, got a couple this afternoon. Really excited about how those have been going. I think they've really been able to help people get better. So I'd highly encourage you, if, you, if you're playing Madden right now and you don't really know which way to turn, you feel like you're, you, you're losing but you don't know why, I'd highly encourage you to pick up a coaching session. The coaching sessions are really, really good. And they're really, really effective in my opinion. So uh, anyways, guys, um, that link is in the description. And we will see you in our next video coming in about an hour and a half or so. Um, until then, check out some of the videos on the screen if you haven't already seen them.